Hi everyone, and welcome to an episode of Code Blue, dedicated to all things unidentified, brought to you by BlueBook.tv, the platform of the unexplained. Please check it out. It's completely free. I am Thor, and thank you for listening. The topic of this episode, the world as you know it, isn't real. For a premiere episode, it is right to declare a purpose, namely to inform, enable discovery, and guide attention to the wealth of great content and new revelations coming to light regarding the unexplained. Code Blue, by its name, also recognizes the urgency we need to wake up. The home of Code Blue, the bluebook.tv streaming platform, and its sister channel on YouTube, Project Blue Book, are dedicated to the pursuit of truth regarding unexplained phenomena, expanding human perception, and discovery of the real world we live in, offering unlimited access to countless quality content for free, with the expressed purpose of promoting knowledge, enlightenment, and truth. But why now? Why Code Blue? An undeniable urgency is upon us, and it's not a coincidence that we're seeing an explosion of interest in unexplained phenomena. Our opportunity to learn is elevated by technology and the countless, highly devoted, brilliant and relentless researchers, the truth-seeking heroes who continue to present new data almost daily, ranging from ancient archaeology sightings, research and analysis, whistleblower testimonials, and public release of military encounters, along with a steady stream of eyewitness accounts and videos. This mounting evidence is consumed by millions of audiences worldwide, hungry for the truth and growing rapidly. Code Blue believes it is important to bring the quality data and media sources together into one place, videos, lectures, podcasts, to form a depository of sorts of the best works as well as the latest discoveries, to be a place that a growing community of the interested can look to for a steady stream of updates from across the spectrum of multiple sources, a place that promises thoughtful curation to safeguard quality, integrity, and relevance. Bluebook.tv and the Project Bluebook channel aspire to become this portal for information regarding high strangeness, taking a broad, inclusive approach to become a comprehensive and self-aware source of information. A topic this broad is not without trappings. What is high strangeness? What is the paranormal? And who are we to determine what qualifies as unexplained phenomena? The answer and approach is uncomplicated. We simply state the paranormal isn't paranormal at all. It is simply labeled so because it falls outside of the envelope of normalcy that has been sanctified by our accepted scientific understanding. We need to change our definition of what's considered normal. Unidentified aerial phenomena, for example, isn't paranormal at all. It is a matter of research, science, technology and information, and completely explainable. By denying its existence, we are sentencing ourselves to an arrested development, preventing our minds to expand their horizons to truly comprehend it. And we must free ourselves from this condition. Fear has had a big role in preventing our evolution. It controls a view that reality, the world as we know it, will somehow collapse onto itself into chaos if we pierce the veil of the acceptably real. This has caused us for too long to deny the existence of real human experiences we currently label the paranormal. Overcoming this fear and denial 
will enable progress on all fronts that ail mankind today. If we're just willing to wake up and look up, we will catch up. Because now, we have an army of intelligence agents working around the clock across the planet, where we all have recording devices in our pockets, enabling the capture of trace evidence and analyzable data in greater volume than ever before. As our intelligence increases regarding the unexplained, we will come to understand our own place in the universe and with it, our sustainability and place within it. It's time to evolve again. There's an entire world of topics that need to be discussed, including, and forgive the lengthy list, but we must be clear, unidentified aerial phenomena, unidentified flying and submerged objects, disappearances, myths, ancient archaeology, geology, artifacts, signs, sightings, crop circles, mutilations, abductions, encounters, missing time, visitations, and because of their fascinating and surprising entanglements, past life memories, near-death experiences, afterlife and dream paralysis as well. And let's not forget quantum physics. The focus on government disclosure is understandable but misguided. Disclosure will come, eventually, but we shouldn't wait around for it, applying limitless energy, resources, and wasting precious time of research and discovery. It's a paralyzing condition. Yes, governments or government-funded agencies have operated for decades. They have artifacts, data, footage, and crafts, possibly even contracts, But when in history has any government been the catalyst for change? We collectively have all the tools, technology and the numbers to figure this out. We should also embrace with excitement the private enterprises engaging in space exploration because this will undoubtedly lead to a greater volume of data, transparency and unfiltering. The governments will release what they have gathered, in our name and at our expense, by the way, eventually. Around the time when we have proven the power of our collective knowledge to have caught up with them and superseded them. In other words, when we successfully pierce the veil with evidence, governments will follow, and with it, the wall of silence, deceit and denial will come crumbling down. Not evolving the mainstream of humanity past the current stalemate delivers the arrested evolution we found ourselves in. Not being able to get past debating whether unexplained phenomena is real or not, when we should be studying systematically and scientifically what it is, what it means, and how it interacts with us, humankind, and has in our past, present, and will in the future. This would get rid of the institutionalized ridicule and disregard regarding the topic to be replaced by meaningful dialogue based on the evidence, leading to an evolution of mainstream thought, constantly fed by fresh data that will ultimately expand the envelope of our collective understanding of our history and how we perceive and experience the real world we live in. The job for all of us is to continue mindful data gathering and research, making our findings available and encourage the consumption of good, reliable information that exposes truths to build a future upon where reality becomes clear, where the fog of our insomniac past can finally be lifted and where all the gaps in history we have filled with temporary fiction can be replaced with facts, leading us on a new path where we discover who we truly are and how we fit into this world, richer in complexity, but rest assured 
never overwhelming to our imagination, emotion, comprehension, or intelligence. The time has come to overcome the unnecessary stigma surrounding these topics, keeping us stuck in the mental dark ages and move towards the light. Once we start down that road, change will happen much faster than we realize. Food, energy, environmental restoration and balance. It is all there in the future where we drop the para from the paranormal in exchange for truth we fearlessly embrace. A new world awaits us if we can take it. You can watch or listen to this and other podcasts of the Code Blue series on bluebook.tv. Please check it out. It's free. This has been a Code Blue for all things unexplained and unidentified. Please subscribe. And each day, let's show some compassion and care. I am Thor, and thanks for listening. See you next time.